Good morning and welcome to another Haskell Kata. Um, today I will do the string calculator again. Um, I will focus on parsing again, but um, yesterday I didn't get very far because I took uh, way more time to explain and we only got to parsing two numbers, I believe, or maybe uh, any number of numbers. So let's get into it directly and see how far we get um, if I don't try and explain everything I do. Let's see. Um, the first thing we need to do is uh, create the add function. The first thing it should be empty to zero. We have an unused variable here, and of course, it doesn't work. Now, it should work with the first implementation. Um, second thing, add a single number. So we add hedgehog again. Now I start splitting it directly um, here. Um, so it's Okay, um, we quickly uh, switch this to if we cannot parse it, it should be zero. Otherwise, we can calculate. Calculate is just doing ID, keeping the end as it is. Hmm. Now I want to introduce the text thing again, the function test thing.
Hej. And it still works. Now we go to parsing uh, two numbers. Um, or should we say that instead of an end as input here, we have a type that we can use to calculate. So let's name this calculate input. So this is a new part. I want to define this as a somewhat stronger type. Can we define it from here? No. Start with two numbers now. So this means that our input should be able to get um, two numbers. Ah, wait, it's one or two numbers. So there's nothing we can do if there's a, nothing in a second.
Still doesn't work. What will happen? Oh, it cannot read um, this thing. I tried to parse something into it, maybe. So that's not all very clear. I'm not too happy with it. But let's go with it. The calculate function is something that I, I think should be just correct like this. I'm not sure if we can do anything else with it. Um, because x is always an that we should return. Well, in this uh, stage, uh, of course, if we now start to handle an unknown amount of numbers, the input should probably change to list of int. Because then we may have zero, one or more. Let's make this a new type. So we know what to expect. So I have two ends here and the two maybe ends here. We have to combine them into a list, otherwise this function won't work at all. something like maybe to list and then with constant I think we can do this Oh wait. Hmm. But what any of this could be empty. Um which does not seem to be what I want. But let's 
run that test to see if we get it far enough. Yeah, of course, we need to be able to return a list of ints for more than one now. Oh, so it does work for two. Yeah, it's just that the parsing is not very sane. I should test the parsing. I will do that in a moment. Mm. Or should I do this now? Maybe I should test the two number parts first. What's wrong here? Ah, there is no show. Ah, interesting. So if we generate a string, hmm, this is the string and we should get out a calculate input x, y. And I just add it. Well, yeah, this works. Okay, I'm hanging myself up again on uh, one detail. Uh, what if one of the numbers doesn't parse? We shouldn't go there. Uh, and I did, I'm sorry. Uh, so today's test is also probably, we have seven minutes left, not that far. Um, let's go and do the many number parse. string returns nothing, but it should return just empty list. That is interesting.
Yeah, of course, it also doesn't do the maybe to list. So if we take this, well, it will always return just. And now we have the limit of two, which starts showing up at uh, using uh, three numbers. And that's where we make this recursive, of course, then. Um, single number. I'm not sure how happy I am with this. But let's go on from here then. Oh, we only parsed. Uh, add function also works because it's just some hmm. okay now the parsing should also split on no lines as well.
which doesn't work when you include a new line. So let's test it here as well. Oh, let's add it here. It's a bit slow. Three seconds. Hmm. Well, never mind. We don't have to change the add test because it still already tests any amount of numbers. So now we can do something with the delimiters and the parse function still want to have a different output. It will still be a list of int. Can I do it like this then? Now we need to have another one where we didn't add that change. Ah, the special delimiter is get, gets lost after one use. Nice. So we should
uh, we should recurse not um, over the whole function, but on a uh, just a small thing. So if we do split on, what does split on do? Let's define it. I want it to be a list of string actually. So we can still do a parse. We can use this here then. Spread predicate and the input. no read maybe so we just return x here and here return return x and Well, this works because it doesn't have any special delimiter anymore. Um, but let's simplify this as well. Just do it without a special delimiter. Okay, so now it parses with a special delimiter as well. And it's already 35 minutes in, so I will uh, end this uh, for now. Uh, we got one step further, special limiter, and we didn't even see many of the test cases, but hey, that's it. Um, maybe tomorrow I will forego the parsing like this. Although I'm interested to see if there's uh, any more possible inputs for calculate input. I don't know. Um, well, we can see that the type did restrict our parsing and we could focus on testing the parsing instead of testing the, uh, the adding up. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if so, leave me a comment. And if you have any suggestions, as always, uh, also leave them below because I'm interested to try other kata out and other approaches. So, um, well, enjoy the rest of the day and i see you tomorrow.